Did you not say this, bro? What? Michael Jackson vibes, bro. Yeah. It's like I don't. It's like we didn't even get to see the whole video before we knew that it was gonna be some type of Michael Jackson vibe, bro. How? How sway? Like how did? It, I don't know. I think just us having a musical ear for certain things, and I'm not saying we perfect. I'm not saying that anybody else wouldn't have guessed the same thing, but it's just like yo, you just can feel it, bro. You can feel that it's coming from a certain place, and for this video, bro. I don't know. I just love these guys, bro. I I love them. I see why people love them. Um, I'm gonna continue. We gonna continue to keep doing reactions on all of these different K-pop artists. But yo, this was just oh, it's so much to touch on, bro. So much to touch on in one video. Bro. Um, between what you wanna say something? Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, it, that's what I love. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just bro. I just I just loved it, bro. Like for one, I want to know who the girl is. I like the fact that the dancers off top they didn't look like they didn't look in unison. It looked like they just came from like a club setting. Like they just like your homeboys that all broke out in a dance. Mm -hmm. I like that for how the different body types and the way they were dressed made it seem it seemed like you know let's just different kinda, ethnicities yeah too, and right? it's like let's just support our mans real quick and kind of just trying to tell how he feels towards this girl um the whole limo thing where it said limos only bro i don't know why i thought that was clever or i thought that was creative but just to have all of these white limos pull into one area and they all kind of just visually watching what was going on i just felt like ah I need to know who is behind this stuff, bro, because it's just like, it, it just, it, it's different and it, it just makes you, it makes it more scenic for you, at least for me and for us, I feel like. Um, but aside from that, bro, Jungkook, bro, amazing artist, amazing song, dancing was on point. Um, just so many different aspects. I'm not going to sit here and, you know, take all the time because Kogan's got to say what he got to say, but yeah. I loved it, bro. I loved it. I loved that song, bro. It just, it just, I don't know. It puts you in a, in a vibe state, bro. So, I think out of out of all the songs we did on his album, I want to say this is not necessarily my favorite, but I, I think it's like if you listen closely, like it's kind of like a musical, like it's a musical genius track, because because like just me listening to it, bro, it's like. It's like three different old songs that's like built into this song, bro. And it's almost like somebody didn't intentionally do it, but they actually did, bro. Like, if you listen to it, like, the beat in general it sounds like doom, 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 doom. It sounds like that. But then when you also listen to Junkhug's voice, it sounds like Michael Jackson. But then it's also another part in the song. I do not know the song name, but I'm telling you when I figure it out, I will let you know. But it's 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 another old song that it's like it's a part in it. I kept trying to figure out where I've heard it and who you sung remember it. Remember what the part was? I, I would have to listen to it again. Like I would have to. I couldn't even tell you because that's why I was trying to remember so bad just to keep my thoughts. But at the same time, it's like it's so hard to. But I, like because I don't know the song name, I just know I've heard old songs that sound like this part, and I'm like, bro, what is the name of that song? I, I don't know. Like. But just the fact that it was so cleverly built as far as like just having those three like classical old songs in there that kind of bring people back from that time era to this time era to where it's modern, bro. Like, bro, from the choreo, bro, like just certain moves, like when he slid everybody out, like, bro, even from the subtle, like saying, like standing next to you to where he didn't like point directly, like he kind of just did it to where it was smooth. Like, like them boys are smooth. Like it was just smooth as hell. Like, and I, bro, I wish he would have kind of, I wish he would have closed everybody back into him. Like mm -hmm. how he pushed everybody out. Yeah, I wish he would have closed dope. everybody back in. But just the little, little subtle, like shifts over. And then when he, it was a part where he was kind of like, everybody was over here doing the same thing. And he was over here on this side doing the same thing too. But they were all in unison. Like, but he was standing alone. Like, bro, like. I want to touch on something real quick before I forget. When you said um, the whole, uh, the three songs into one, I feel like in life, real quick, I feel like we go through things to where we don't know that we're kind of being pulled in psychologically. And I feel like it, this may be a little bit deep for a song, but at the same time, it almost seems like to grab different types of audiences to a specific song for a specific artist in a specific time, you almost have to do certain things like that. It's like everybody can take a piece of this specific song and it may not be something that 
you instinctively know you're attracted to, but you are unconsciously attracted to it in a sense. It's like, you know, it's something about this song that is gravitating you towards it. So it's like, you can't really put your finger on it, but you know, it's something. It's like the three part, like almost like a trans kind of, it's like just bringing you into it. I felt like that was just so dope and clever for not only Kogan to pick up on, but also if that is what they're doing for them to do. So shouts out to them bro i also want to give this the fighting scene props bro um it was just so so much um going on within that scene that it's just like yo you can't mess up bro and you want to miss a a kick if you want to get technical i ain't mean to cut you off but at the same time you want to get technical to me it honestly like they were fighting but it looked like they were fighting in reverse like almost like somebody reversed it like like they reversed it but like like they hit reverse everybody was going forward motion but they were like literally going in reverse motion to where mm. it looked like they were missing kicks and not hitting the like i could be wrong and i like i could be taking a stab at it but at the same time bro what pisses me off in a good way about bts is that i said this in another video to where everybody like if certain people that can, i consider unicorns like beyonce is a unicorn because she makes music that appeals to everybody like and and of course you know it might be some more towards mu- women, but at the same time some of the songs uh, appeal towards everybody. And also Michael Jackson did the same thing, and that's also too, I think why there was a point in time where Beyonce had won the same award that Michael Jackson won, and nobody else had won that award. But BTS literally to me has every, like almost every single artist is a unicorn, mm-hmm. and it's like I'm scared to listen. I'm scared to watch Gemins because it's like. These are tal- talented people. It's like a group full of talented people. It's like almost have like an all star team that mm-hmm. are unicorns, bro. So it's like, I'm like, like, bro, like, these, um, like, I like between the rap line and just them singing in general, just in just their thought process as far as different projects, like between Jim and just Jungkook in general, like so far like i've been captivated by their videos as far as like yo what the is going on bro like yo who was making this stuff like we're gonna have to without the shadow of a doubt go into august d's uh album we're gonna have to we have to because like it's too much talent to miss out on but with that being said bro if you don't have anything else to say this this video was magnificent the album was and, magnificent and on a side note i know this isn't about bts and you know this is solely about junk cook but at the same i just wanted to point that out because bro to have that within a group like sometimes not everybody is the same like not everybody mm-hmm. can deliver on the level to where like we all can be unicorns sometimes you just get a star player that's a star player mm-hmm. so with that being said like I don't have nothing else to say. Yeah, so. that's it, bro. We just gonna wrap it up and get on out of here, man. Definitely, definitely, definitely. That man. song is amazing. I, I feel like it's one of our top favorite songs on the album. Yep. Um, and the video was amazing as well, bro. Shouts out to the production line. Shouts out to John Cook. Shouts out to the people in the video. Even the girl. Somebody could let us know who that was. I feel like it's maybe like a model that I want to know who it was. Mm-hmm. But and shouts everybody, out, shouts out to the whole landscape and scheme of the whole video as far as the limos and all that. Just the Even outfits. The tunnel. Where did they get the from where like, did the tunnel from bro that's bts so guys we're gonna go ahead and get on out of here as usual guys once again my name is kogan it's your boy kaden and that's skull pack reacts mm-hmm. i'm doing a michael jackson feet thing you just can't see it i'll be crusty ass feet you ain't <laughs> <laughs>